I've grown up a lot since mid-2015 when a combination of curiosity and boredom led me to watch some of the early Flat Earth videos. In my head I was already ridiculing the modern Flat Earth pioneers. I mainly just wanted to know how anyone could believe the Earth was flat in this day and age. What with all our modern science, NASA's pictures of the Earth from space of course. Lucky for me though, I'd already started the process of consciously deprogramming myself, questioning some of my most deep-rooted beliefs, hacking away at my ego. So some of the key arguments actually made it past that wall we're all forced to build around our true selves just to get by in this world. After proving to myself that the physical construct of our universe was almost certainly vastly different to that which has been presented to us, naturally I wanted to have some intelligent discussion about it. Of course I knew I'd have to tread lightly, only mention it to intelligent, open-minded people and I made sure that I thoroughly reacquainted myself with the heliocentric model. I'm sure you can guess how it went though. Even with near irrefutable evidence and some solid arguments, I was met with scorn, anger and ridicule. People I'd known for years, who I thought respected me as an intelligent and logical guy, changed instantly to condescending bullies when I hinted that the Earth may not be a globe. They seemed to prefer to believe that I'd forgotten everything I learned in primary school or I'd suddenly gone mad rather than look into the points that I brought up. Of course, in hindsight, I know why. A lifetime of indoctrination in combination with a carefully and meticulously built protective shell, which we call an ego, is hard to break. Especially when one considers in retrospect the globe programming we've been subjected to and the disdain we're programmed to have for anyone who challenges this model. A flat earther falls even lower on the scale of program disgust than the bigot. Possibly even lower than the filthy anti-Semite. Somewhere between the bigot and the anti-Semite on the scale, we find the conspiracy theorist. This is actually a weaponized term, in response to a few despicable individuals who dared question the untouchable government-sanctioned manufactured evidence surrounding the murder of President Kennedy in 1962. The CIA needed a way to quickly and thoroughly shut down anyone with the audacity to question the official narrative. The outcome, no doubt conjured up in a secret week-long roundtable meeting held at a secret location with an ironic codename, was even more devious than it was brilliant. The naive public would need only minimal programming delivered by the most powerful propaganda tool ever. A Trojan horse most had already welcomed into their living rooms. The television. television. All it required was for some of the most trusted mouthpieces of government propaganda, the nightly news anchors, to label these deplorable individuals with the CIA's newly coined term, which they then go on to associate with the bogeyman of the day. The New York Police Department has uncovered a veritable fifth column of treasonous conspiracy theorists, some with ties to Red China and Russia. They look to be thoroughly unhinged individuals. With enough repetition of the term, it soon became a go-to label for anyone who questioned the mainstream narrative. The crazier the recipient of this label, the better, as that way anyone who questioned the status quo in almost any field, no matter how sane their views were, could quickly be shut down by two words. The best thing was, it would soon become self-policing as the average person, with most of their time consumed earning enough money to spend the rest of their time consuming, generally prefers not to think too deeply about their reality. Now they had a ready-made term to shut down those uncomfortable conversations, quickly, with a powerful deterrent, ridicule. ridicule. Conspiracy theorist. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. 
concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. <laughs>